Okay, starting at the new height, and we're looking pretty good. Cool. Uh, so, in the uh, gaming news yeah. this week, I uh, discovered that um, the Elder Scrolls Online is going uh, f uh, subscription free. Ah, as, right. As of March. So, so uh, single price. Yeah, so you buy your, your box game as normal, um, but you no longer have to pay lots of money every month to actually yeah. use the box game that you've already paid a lot of money for. Mm. Um, that sounds which is quite pretty promising. Cool. Yeah, so uh, so yeah, check check back here for more uh, week old game news. <laughs> you know? um, but yeah, that, that that's always intrigued me. That game. So I loved Skyrim. Yes, but it did lack on the. Uh, not player front. Yes. Um, so yeah, I've, I've managed to get a hold as soon as the news came out. I started looking for it, and I uh, managed to get a copy for ten quid. Oh, not bad. Uh, which was I thought was very reasonable. Yeah. Um, let's get a bit more cobblestone. Um, yeah. So I've I've got that, and it came with a month's free subscription. So I get to play it for a month, and then just not play it for a couple of months until uh, it March. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might might try and make a few videos with that, or I might just play it and enjoy it. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, be worth checking out. I think. Yeah. I I never got a, a chance to play Skyrim, but I've seen the adverts a lot. <laughs> that yes. is pretty much my experience. A, a bunch of the guys I work with played it and said it was very very good, but was a a massive time sink. Yeah, and, it really uh, was. I don't have room for a massive time sink outside of Minecraft right now, so. Uh, <laughs> No, to be honest, I don't really. <laughs> yeah, but, well, uh, worth yeah. having a look anyway. Absolutely, yeah. Got to keep abreast of these things. I made a New Year's resolution that I was going to spend time during the week on uh, decidedly vanilla actually making things to show people when I started recording. Mm -hmm. um, and that lasted a week. <laughs> well, that must have been a good week. Yes, so it's now Friday night and... Uh, I'm going to have to come up with something during the day tomorrow to record in the evening. So. <laughs> well, I look forward to that very much. <laughs> I've just spent a lot of time in the nether trying to gather quartz and did not get nearly as much as I expected. Yeah, that's always the way, isn't always it? Always the way. And and it looks like you're just gathering so much of the raw ore and then when it comes to it, you put it into blocks and it's about 30. I think it was more than that eventually, but uh, yeah, I still yeah. need a ton more of it. Well, I'm starting to think about doing things with uh, redstone. Mm. Uh, and so I want to build a load of comparators, which means that I need uh, raw quartz rather than, uh, sorry, raw nether quartz rather than quartz that you make from it. I've just come to look at the entrance to the hotel. This looks brilliant. Well, it's a start. Just, just the fact that there's a new stone type in there <laughs> is just, yeah. is just fantastic. Just like, that looks like it could be anything right now. That's a blank slate on which we can improve. It's a big green lizard. <laughs> it is. What? Oh, uh, it, it's one, <laughs> it's one of those magic eye pictures. Um, yeah, if you squint in just the right way. Yeah. Do you have a bucket of water? Is that in the uh, the HQ building? Uh, yeah. It might be an empty bucket at this point, but. Ah, uh, it, it is a bucket of water. Tub. It is a oh. bucket of water, so we're... Uh, That's uh, good then. One step ahead. Uh, just going to have a snack on some lovely skyblock melon. And I'm actually going to move some of this farmland now while I'm down here. Oh yeah. Because we uh, we just need the stuff to grow the melon. I think we can probably even stop producing pumpkins at this point, because we've got all the lighting supplies we need. Yeah, and although we're going to need to light this hotel at some point. Yes, yes. Well, we have a ton of pumpkins in the chest, and if we need to grow more, then we can, so... Yeah. Uh, right, how do I want to do this? I think I want to do it... Oh, the rain has stopped. That makes a change. <laughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it, actually? Yeah, bit of calm. Oh, that's a point. I want to avoid it touching this fence, so if the animals spawn, they don't just drop over the side. I don't know if they will do that. I don't know if they'll just sort of wander out into the void, but I want to avoid the possibility of that happening. Yeah. So the uh, the dirt bit over here is now a complete square. Mm-hmm. You mean he's uncool? He's not cool at all. Um, that's that's going to be more than enough space, yeah. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. 
Everyone, uh, cross your fingers for us in the comments. We need, uh, <laughs> we need some animals. Yes, if you could just leave your fingers crossed in the comments. Yes, I'm not um, quite sure how you'll do that, but I, you'll find ways. You're intelligent people. I've seen your comments before. Yep. You, uh, you know what you're talking about. We don't want to hold your hands for everything. I mean, you can figure it out. It's fine. Particularly if you cut off your fingers to leave them in the comments. We definitely don't want to be holding your hand there. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's something best avoided. We, yes. we do, here at Skyblock Resort, we do not advocate for the cutting off of your fingers to leave them in comments. No, no. Uh, to be honest, it's a silly idea. I don't know why you did it. I'll rethink my uh, business strategy. <laughs> right, we got the uh, bottom half of one wall pretty much done now. There we go. You've got the borders of the hotel sorted. I can see it from up here, it looks lovely. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just checking that I've done it equally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I've not done it equally. Oh no. This is, ah. Oh, Tragedy. You distracted me. The feeling's gone and you can't go on, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for distracting you. Yeah, honestly. It's looks like you've got the situation in hand though. Although we will need, we will need to re-smelt some of that stone if you have to break it. Oh, of course, because we don't have silk touch. We do not have silk touch. That is one of the many things we don't have. But uh, you never know. Give us time. Give us time. Oh, right. I am out of cobble again. So back to the uh, grind we go. Mm. Um, this is not actually particularly well placed. This cobble generator. How do you mean? Um. There's now like, well, the waterfall is in where I wanted the wall to be. Oh. And, um, yeah, there's only a, a one block for you to stand in to use it. It's not exactly spacious around here. Mm. Yeah, we may have to make a couple of changes. Yeah, but Let's I guess it was always supposed to be functional. Yeah. I'm hoping that we're going to get access to more lava at some point. Yeah, that's what. That's the other thing I'm wondering about the nether, is if we can, uh, if we can use that as a... Oh, my word, there's a creeper up here. Get out. Oh and the skeleton. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> hey, he's down. <laughs> yeah. I have several arrows in me. I just looked in my inventory screen. I am covered. Um, but I have a few arrows in my pockets as well, which is good. What's it got in its pockets? Is... Uh, right. Right. I think that's right now. Oh, this is going to need to be much wider than I initially thought. One, two, three, four, five, like six, for? seven, eight, and then the block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then oh, I've done it one too wide now. Kane, why is this water being silly? Um, because you're encouraging it. Water, behave yourself. No, it's not. It's it's been it's been weird. <laughs> okay. It's the only way I know how to describe it. I'm putting it down <laughs> on. Is it because it's on a slab? It's probably because it's on a slab, isn't it? Um, is it on a bottom slab or a top slab? It's on a top slab. Uh, should be alright. Because I put it down and it only flows in one direction, not the band. Um, it, it's been here before. It's kind of flowing around sections of it that it shouldn't be. It should be spreading okay. out evenly, and it's not. I'm coming up the ladder, so. Don't pour it over my head. Right. <laughs> right um, Look, if I put it it's... here, it just flows that way. Ooh. It's eerie. If I put it, stand back a little bit, sort of over there. If I put it down there, it avoids this section. Why? Why is it doing that? Why does it's it do this strange. to me? Because that's going to spoil the, uh, the the mob dropper. It is, isn't it? Hmm. I will, mm. I will bring up more water so I can kind of fill this section out because the idea is that it's going to be you know, uh, a bunch of source blocks and they'll all just pour into a central yeah, bit where they all drop. And this is going to have to be a much wider platform. I just wanted to test out the mechanics yeah. of it. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worth replacing these slabs with full blocks. Possible. It's going to um, take a little while, but we'll have to, uh, yeah, have to give it a try. Might have to do that. Um, yeah, I, I, heard, I, I know there's something about mob spawning on slabs as well but it might just be the bot the bottom half slabs yeah i think it i think it is supposed to just be bottom half slabs okay i'm, I'm just experiencing what you were 
describing me about our uh, our island now. Yeah, yeah, I like so, it. I think it's really good. It's very cool, isn't it? I'm I'm pretty chuffed with how this has gone. 